Fat Nine's gonna drive you up to South Westchester if you want to go and. You can uh, get your friend a discount. Yeah, 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 get your friend a discount. Carpool discount, it's we love to see that. It's only a $7 entry into our venue, very similar to Xeno. So go out, pop out to our Encore brothers and sisters while we go into our loser semis who are going to be uh, fighting for a spot against Vivi. So. This is a, a these next three matches we have are pretty much like we've seen them. No matter which way you the domino folds, right? It, it's gonna go in whichever way. And right now, Fawn Dill fought each other enough times to know that it relatively goes back and forth between these two, right? When Don when when Don, I just merge them together. Don and Phil. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don and Phil, of course, no, but still doing an amazing job at trying to avoid these cans for a little bit there. And even side, uh, getting away from that clay pigeon, which is, would have been a really good option on that big old body, but fine, it would come to stage relatively safely as still the opposite, you know, just kind of taking more than stage control during that excursion. Yep, and I do want to say, I do want to point out, I like, uh, Fawn's choice of going with the uh, the duck hunt from the get-go. We did see Fawn pulling out the Bayonetta in game one of the winner's quarters match, which is the game that Dill took. So, you know, starting off, putting your best foot forward here in loser's semis, trying to make sure, you know, don't leave anything to chance. Don't leave Absolutely anything not. to your secondaries. No, you don't. You want to really push in the, uh, the fact that we want to win today. We want to get that reset in Grant at some point. We got to go through VV for that, but beforehand, we got to go through uh, the TO herself. So. I mean, but both of them are TOs, aren't they, huh? Yeah. There's a TO battle. This is a, this is a cat battle, truly. But right here, Dio is living to absurd percentages as Spawn is struggling to get uh, get the stock taken and dusted. Just kind of avoiding all the, the things that Spawn's going for, but that down throw into the uh, into the up there, he's going to be taking it relatively, relatively convincingly. Yep, catching the DI in from Dill. That being said, though, 102 on Fawn, you know, going to have to be playing really careful uh, with this second stock still. All right, only getting a little bit of percentage. The Clay Pigeon just coming out and exploding all over that gyro. But, Absolutely. Yeah. There's a backer that shoots really low. Could be a shoot break, but thankfully, not going to be enough. There is that reflector. You'll to see it on that Clay Pigeon, allowing Dill to break through that wall that Fallen by a build right there. Yeah, and Fawn has just not really been able to find any sort of, like, meaningful neutral interactions. You know, they haven't been able to set up that sort of set play that they're known for, especially here on small battlefield. But, I mean, Dill, the way that she plays with the gyro, with the can, it's just such a good, like, counter-zoning disruptor character is Rob, able to just break through all of the cans, all of the gunmen, and make sure that Fawn is playing with far fewer resources than she is used to. Absolutely, and when you're able to take out Fawn as well as this early as well, it really would let's still work out a situation where I can kind of play more defensively, I can play with a lead, and I can hit the, the do down to on the gunman. And whoa! Oh, looking for one can, more, but we might. That's it. Technically not a. a oh, what a you saved tech. her. You just saved her. Yeah, she got saved. All right, but we're still noticing that I did, I did just save them, so now I'm going to do, do the uh, arm rotor. Leave Fawn back off stage for as long as possible. There's that dash tag once more to the gyro. Fawn unable to come to, come to stage whatsoever. Are we going to get the back? <gasps> what a gyro up throw All from right. Fawn to find herself some space, but still finding herself reversal with the up air. Full charge gyro going right through that gunman. And there it is, just the, the one gyro poking off stage and securing Dill that first game. There's a lot going on that last stock. We'll see right here, I think. Is is this the final kill? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Lots of things going on off stage there. It was a, uh, there's a reversal. There was one. Fawn was going to SD at some point, because I don't think the air drill was going to ledge grab, and then Dill was like, I'm going to save you real fast. I can keep yeah. beating you up. <laughs> and it's like, what happened? She saved her, and then, boom, I'm going to armor you, get you off, off stage. I'm going to keep using Gyro. I'm going to keep using Nair. I'm going to keep using Fallen Nair. I'm going to use your can against you, and it all worked out very well for Dill to secure this first game in a and a run back that I know Fawn wants to um wants to win again. Yeah, no, Fawn not really, you know, feeling the the pain of Duck Hunt, not really having the best like out of corner options. Obviously having some reversals in things like can or clay pigeon, but a lot of those kind of rely on you getting hit in the first place. Yeah. And oh my goodness, that's a hit. Fawn throwing up the hand just like eh, whatever. Fawn, Fawn is, is really over it. This has been a kid that they have played before, so it, it, it hurts a little bit more, right? When you know these are things that your your old main can do, when your secondaries can do, and it's like, dang, I got <laughs> hit by that. I, I, I get it. 
And still playing very, very nicely, though. Gain has energy control, just not letting Fawn really set up anything up with the gunman, with the can, with even the clay pigeons either. It's yeah, kind of really on top of her. We saw Fawn looking for an empty landing grab to maybe set up a can confirm, but Dill recognizing that the can was uh, on the other side of her, you know, ready for that sort of ready for that sort of setup. Yeah, absolutely. Fawn, thankfully, they're able to kind of bring it a little more back in their favor as they try to get some more percentage on Dill, but still, again, just right on top of it, getting Fawn exactly where they need them, and another done if your efforts. Fawn kind of in the player camp, struggling to maintain that composure, trying to maintain some kind of, any kind of, like, you know, motivation to keep on going because of the fact that we're getting down there to two too many times. This is, that's I, that's much I just want to point one. out, this is uh, incredibly fitting music. Just the Depressing. most, like, despair. I think this is Furnace from MGS1. I'm pretty sure that's the, the song this is. But, yeah, it's just, it is not looking good for Fawn right now. The, it can, yeah, it's the, not. The mental just does not seem to be there. Dill still has three stocks to work through, and she is... She is locked in right now. And you can see that I don't think a single clay pigeon or can't even came out in this entire time of this last stock. I think Fawn is just like, I think it's best to just go in with my my, my normals, right? Mm -hmm. Avoid that down there. We know it's coming. We know it's coming every time. Try and get for that high recovery option. You know that uh, that Rob can really keep you in the air for a little bit too long. There's that arm rotor. Yeah, that yeah. should be game. That should be a loser's semis gone, dusted. Fawn out of bracket and Dill moving on towards Loser's Finals against Vivi, who has been sitting very, very prettily. And I think there's another run back where, uh, where. Is this? No, it no, would have no, been sorry, a run back Fawn. if Fawn won. Yeah. But instead, we are seeing brand new matches here. Never before seen Dill versus Ever. Vivi. Never. Never. Especially ever. not at the Xeno stream. Not the Xeno stream, not the Waypoint stream, not the Brooklyn. No, never. No. Never has ever. Actually, actually. For Brooklyn, that shit is true. I've never <laughs> been seen. <laughs> but this is a brand new match, guys. I don't even know who Vivi is. Newcomer. 